A Montreal woman is warning people about identity theft and Facebook. Michaela de Cesare is a local playwright and actor. She found her face being used on another person's Facebook page. As it turns out, there are things people can do to prevent that from happening. Here's Caroline Van Vlardigan. Michaela Di Cesare is used to showing her face in public. It's really helpful to be able to be searchable. But last weekend, she got a message out of the blue from someone in the Czech Republic. And she said, hey, I think you'd like to know that this person is, is pretending to be you on Facebook. And she sent a link to the profile. And I clicked on it, and I went to the page. And lo and behold, there was my face. And, you know, <laughs> but it wasn't me. Di Cesare says whoever was using her photo on Facebook under the name of Michaela Wolfova had about 800 friends, so yes, mostly men. It was really creepy. It was just so bizarre. Di Cesare contacted Facebook and says the initial response wasn't very encouraging. They had sent me a response saying this profile does not violate our community standards. But Di Cesare's friends on the social media site also demanded that the person claiming to be Michaela Wolfova remove her photo. So a day later, Facebook closed the page. So my alter ego is no longer active. <laughs> Ethical hacker Terry Cutler says identity theft on Facebook is not unheard of. Could happen um, more often than we think. So he showed us a few ways you can ensure your photos aren't being hijacked by someone else. Go to Facebook.com, for example, look at your photo, and then in another tab, you look at, you open up uh, images.google.com. Then what you'll do is you'll drag and drop that image uh, into Google, and it'll actually go and search the web for any other places where this photo is being used. Another trick, set up a Google alert on yourself or go to Facebook Graph to check photos you may have been tagged in. To see what information is out there about you online. Cutler says De Cesare did the right thing to involve her friends because the more complaints Facebook gets, the more they pay attention. We all come down to order of priority. De Cesare still doesn't know if Michaela Wolfova even exists and says at first the incident left her wanting to tighten her privacy settings. But given her profession, that would be impractical. So she'll continue posting publicly, but with a new concern. Caroline Van Vlardigan, CTV News.